Hello and welcome to a new episode of the Mickey Mini Med Talks. I am your host, Minnie. Joined by the ever curious Mickey. Today, we're unraveling the mysteries of Bradykinin mediated angioedema, a condition that's as complex as it is fascinating. Ready to dive deep, Mickey? Absolutely, Minnie. I've got my notepad ready. Let's explore the intricate world of hereditary angioedema and its allies. Of course. Hereditary angioedema is a key form of Burdekinin mediated angioedema. It's caused by a deficiency or dysfunction of the C1 inhibitor, leading to increased Burdekinin levels. Patients with HAE experience recurrent episodes of severe swelling, often without typical allergic triggers. I'm particularly interested in the causes. What are the common drugs associated with this condition? Great question, Mickey. Apart from ACE inhibitors, drugs like DPP-4 inhibitors, certain calcium channel blockers such as amlodipine and nifedipine, and even inhaled cocaine can trigger angioedema. Some cases are also linked to medications like serolimus, everolimus, amiodarone, metaprolol, risperdone, paroxetine, and etnercept. Even fibrinolytic agents can be implicated. That's quite a list. Are there any specific syndromes related to this type of angioedema? Yes, in fact, hypereosinophilic syndromes and glyc syndrome are important to mention. HES is characterized by high eosinophil counts, and glyc syndrome features recurrent angioedema, urticaria, and other symptoms along with marked eosinophilia. And what about the treatment? Does it differ from other types of angioedema? Indeed, it does. The critical point to remember is that bradykinin mediated angioedema does not respond to epinephrine, antihistamines, or glucocorticoids. Treatment involves targeting the bradykinin pathway with drugs like icotibin or using C1 inhibitor concentrates and plasma replacement, depending on the cause. And that wraps up our insightful journey through the world of bradykinin-mediated angioedema. Thanks for being an excellent co-pilot today, Mickey. Thank you, Minnie. It's been a learning adventure. To our listeners, keep questioning and stay curious. Until next time, stay informed and stay healthy, and happy holidays.